You miss Daddy Big Much? Yeah. What's wrong, Bubba? You can't reach your balloon? You can't reach your balloon? Where's it at? Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Oh, poor guy. Here you go. Oh, here, Bubba. Here. Here. What are you doing? You're goofy. I'm trying to find some toys. Do you see yourself in the screen? Yeah. You're pretty. Oh, what up, y'all? Yo, yo, yo! Welcome back to another one. And today, it's a little more serious of a video. I'm not saying that I ain't gonna try to make it fun, but there's something that I want to get all across to you, and I want to give uh, a lot of you beginner goose hunters, waterfowlers in general, duck hunters, I want to give you guys some advice. It, it, today isn't about me teaching you anything in particular. It's just about Bobby giving some personal advice when it comes to hunting and when it comes to uh, our relationships, our friendships, uh, dealing with other people locally around us that hunt the same birds or the people that want to hunt the same birds as us. So you guys know me, a lot of you that have been here for a while, you know that I hunt with a lot of different people, no matter if it's uh, duck hunting, I have a lot of pe different people that I duck hunt with, or if it's pigeon hunting, I have a lot of different people that I pigeon hunt with. Same with goose hunting. Lots of different people that I interact with and that I hunt with. Well, here recently, something happened, and that something, it's... It's not comfortable to deal with. It's uh, it's something that I've had to deal with uh, a, a few times just this season. Last year I had to deal with it. And it has to do with friendships. And it has to do with this whole thing. This whole waterfowl hunting. This whole territory. It's my territory. It's your territory. Um, yeah, it comes down to that. And it comes down to people getting jealous and getting upset with you. Whatever the case may be, just getting mad at you for hunting, uh, for hunting. This video is not about, is not meant to be dramatic. It's a, it's, this video is, uh, meant to help you guys. And it's meant to help a lot of you, um, that are getting into waterfowl hunting and a lot of you that have dealt with, uh, some ignorant people. Um, I, and I mean that in the nicest way possible. What I mean by ignorant people is the ones that want to start drama because of you hunting a field that they are wanting to hunt or that they usually hunt and they're not invited, vice versa. Just, uh, I'm here to give you guys some, uh, some tips, some advice to, to help, help deal with these people. Oh, get a little more comfy here, shall we? And you can't see my beautiful face because my hat's blocking it out. Is that better, y'all? Oh, man. So, guys. What I'm getting at is there's always a lot of feelings involved with hunting when it comes to people that have been hunting certain properties for a long time. What really hurts uh, people's feelings is when you've had permission on a field for a long time and then a big outfitter comes in and leases it out from under you for thousands of dollars and then that means you cannot uh, hunt that field for that season, maybe even the next season, if uh, they lease it again. That's not what happened here, guys. What this this certain subject, this certain topic that I'm going to be talking about here is uh, it's happened a few times just this year and last year. I'm sure it's happened to a bunch of you guys. And it's just that it's it's people getting jealous and starting feuds with you saying, you know, how dare you go hunt that without me? I showed you that field a long time ago. Uh, whatever it might be. Um, it doesn't matter what you show somebody. If you have rights to a field, if you have rights to a field, meaning if you leased it and you have legal rights to permission and accessibility of that field for that year, that's different. But when people are, uh, you know, threatening you or just crawling up your, you know what, giving you a hard time trying to get you not to hunt a field. I know a lot of you have been there. I know a lot of you have been there. Don't back down from them. Now, I'm not saying that I believe in violence or anything like that. I'm not saying to fight people. Don't do that. Do not ever be physical. That, that It doesn't need to go there in hunting. But what I'm saying is people that try to intimidate you like, oh, you can't hunt that. I have full permission on that. Don't even try to get on that field. You know what I'm talking about, all that stuff. Look, we're all humans, and we all have a right to hunt. 
We all buy licenses every year. We're all legal. We all have a right to hunt, especially if the farmer, the owner gives us permission. Don't you guys dare ever, ever back down from somebody trying to bully you out of hunting something. That, that's completely ridiculous. Now again, I do not believe in violence. Like a lot of people, when this stuff happens, it can really snowball into somebody going, you know what, I'm going to beat your you. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It don't ever need to get to that. This is hunting, y'all. This is hunting. And I know I'm getting a little worked up because this is something that I've had to deal with ever since I started waterfowling around my area here. There's always been somebody who don't like you, who, who, and the reason being is because you're hunting their fields, you're coming in, you know, you're hunting their birds, it's their birds, they own them. Yeah, right, buddy. Nobody owns these birds. Nobody can tell you not to hunt them. Just got to make sure you have permission from the landowner and the farmer. If you're legit there, don't back down from people. If they hit you, if they shove you, if they get physical with you, you can sue them. I know, I'm getting, I'm getting bent out of shape, and I was hoping I wouldn't get too bent out of shape on this deal, but I gotta say, I have, uh, this happened to me so many times now, people thinking they can bully me, bully me around and tell me, Bobby, you can't do that. You can't do that. You can't do this. You can't do that. Who are you, dude? Who are you? And that, guys, is exactly how y'all need to be, you know, when it comes to the landowners, the farmers, the people that deserve your respect, you give them your respect. You respect them, you tell them thank you, you know, you kiss their butt a little bit. Honestly, you gotta be nice to these farmers and landowners, man, and, and it's important. But these little turds that run around and do nothing but wanna start drama in the waterfowl hunting world, it's sad because in hunting and deer hunting and pigeon hunting and goose hunting, waterfowl, whatever hunting it is, we all do it because we love to do it. It's our escape, it's our getaway. It's what we have built a whole community on the channel right here about. It's important to us. And when little turd buckets come around and just decide to start junk for no reason and over and over and over, all I can say guys is ignore them. If you ignore them long enough, you go around them, you show them that, look man, I'm gonna keep doing what I can do. You ain't gonna affect me you'll eventually get rid of them, and they'll eventually go away and you won't hear about them anymore. So, um, I know, I know, I got a little heated there, got a little mouthy, but I really want to get my point across on this video. I did a duck call video a long, long time ago. It was probably a year and a half, two years ago. And it was all about uh, beginner duck callers and helping me trying to help you guys build confidence in the blind to pull that duck call out, that goose call, and give it a blow, give it a toot or three not caring who's around you because you have to place the people around you that aren't going to judge you all the time that's the thing is if you're around people that judge you constantly when you're supposed to be having fun and put you down and make you feel horrible for trying to blow your call that's the point of that video was don't let those people beat you down and that's the point of this video don't let people back you into a corner and take your fills away from you i mean it's ridiculous. It, these are all birds that we can all hunt at any time. These birds roost in one area and fly to feed in another area. Nobody has say so on what you can do as, as long as you're legal and you got full permission. Now I'm not saying uh, people's feelings aren't going to be hurt when you decide to, hey man, you ain't going to bother me, I'm going to keep on trucking here. Believe you me, their feelings are going to be hurt. And friendships, I've lost a handful probably uh, doing this in the last, I don't know, probably five or seven years, I bet you there's been a handful, maybe three to four to five people that I don't talk to anymore. And they used to be pretty close acquaintances, not like best friends by no means. Uh, but, you know, not like really hardcore friends. I have lost probably three to four to five friends in the last five to seven years over hunting. Over hunting. And it's just over... Who can kill more birds? Who's better than the other one? Oh, he hunted my field. I usually have permission on that. Dude, don't know what to tell you. <sighs> I gotta, I gotta, I gotta start walking around some more. Gotta, gotta get up out of the chair and walk around because I'm getting heated. This has been a uh, big thing that I've been having to deal with here lately and it sucks. There's nothing enjoyable about having disputes, especially about something we all love to do. Um, but the reason why I did decide to make this video is not to make it dramatic, is to basically help 
all my younger viewers out there. Some of my, some, some of even my older viewers that uh, maybe just don't want confrontation. Look, it's not about confrontation. It's about certain people that just want to be able to rule you, tell you what to do, what you can and can't hunt. And I'm going to tell you, don't give in to them. Don't do it. Stay in your ground. As long as you have permission and you're legal and you're good, don't let these other people not let you hunt. Don't let other people say, well, you can't hunt that. I'm hunting it tomorrow. When you have permission. When the farmer said, yeah, go ahead. Don't let people like that keep you from doing what you love. That's why I'm making this video. Is because there's a lot of bullies in this hunting community that have always stomped their way around, huffed and puffed, and a lot of younger kids, especially, a lot of younger dudes have suffered because they come into the game with a brand new, you know, three dozen decoys, and they pull up to a field that they have permission on that they scouted the day before, and you got Buddy over here who's been hunting this field for five years who runs you off. That's, that's ridiculous. Oh, but we just got done with a pigeon hunt here. Uh, check that out. Check out all these sweet pigeon decoys I got. Look at that guy there. How cool is he? Awesome colors on them. Just all kinds of neat ones that come with uh, these 12 pack of uh, pigeon decoys. Look at this one, look how black he is. Awesome decoys. But uh, pigeon hunting, you guys loved that last video I put up. I'm hoping you guys are ready for some more pigeon hunting. You guys requested that I do some pigeon cooking because you guys seen at the end of that video, uh, me and Jordan cleaned 145 pigeons. It was 22 pounds of pigeon breast, yeah. So be expecting some pigeon cooking going on. I'm gonna do some pigeon cooking videos for y'all and they are so good. I'm not even lying, I'm not even trying to get you to watch the videos. All I'm saying, if you have never tried pigeon, you probably need to because it's literally little chunks of juicy sirloin steak. So we're gonna make some jerky. We're gonna do a bunch of different pigeon cooking videos. I hope y'all are ready for them. <sighs> Uh, sorry, I got a little worked up during this video, and I knew I would. I don't, um, I don't ever try to incorporate drama in uh, the YouTube channel. I, I don't believe in drama. I don't like it. I hate that waterfowl hunting, uh, it, you know, locally has became so dramatic. I mean, people, people really just poop their shorts. I mean, they get really, really bound up about waterfowl hunting. It's crazy. Oh, it's freezing outside, and I mean freezing. I'm gonna try to stay in here in the shop. But we're gonna finish this thing up. I know I've just been blabbing and kind of getting some getting some weight off my shoulders, and I know you guys are here for that. And and I thought that this message was a good one that I that I needed to share. Um, I really wanted to share it. Like I said, I don't like drama in hunting. It ruins hunting for a lot of people. Um, hunting for me individually has really changed over the last two to three years that I've been doing YouTube because with YouTube and the growth of the channel and the growth of uh, ducks, um, it has pushed me to obviously hunt more. And hunting more results in things like this that I'm talking about with other people, it results in bad things happening more because more people get mad at you that you're hunting so much and you're hunting their fields and yada, yada, yada. I've just had to put up with it so much in the last two years. So my big message about this video is, um, guys, keep, keep the drama out of our sport that we all love so much, and, and it means so much to us. This sport, waterfall hunting, hunting, wing shooting, deer hunting, any of it, keep the drama out of it. If you're mad at somebody for hunting your field, you might as well put on a smile, and you might as well call them and say, hey, man, do you mind if I hunt it with you? I'd love to hunt it with you, buddy. That would be a better approach than calling somebody and going, Are you serious? You just took my field from me? It ain't your field, buddy. You don't lease it. Long story short, everybody has their own feelings about this subject. I hope you all feel the same that I do. Um, hunting is fair. People can become bullies and it, it's not fair anymore. And it's not fun. People, drama ruins hunting. I'm telling you right now. But I hope you guys somewhat enjoyed this video. It was not an entertaining video. It was just an informative video, an advice video. I, I don't think I've done one of those videos for a long time where I'm just, where I just want to give you some of my advice that I've learned coming up along the way because I've been hunting and doing this whole thing for, you know, 15 plus years. So I, I don't try to teach you everything. I just try to share what I know. And, and if you guys like it, 
take it and 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 use it use the information to your to your ability uh and if you don't like it don't listen to me blab my mouth the new snow goose thermal warm extra thick hoodies are now available i will link these bad boys down in the description below if you want to pick one up but i hope you guys really did take something uh positive from this video i never meant for it to be negative i don't want it to be negative it's not about that it is about just uh creating some awareness especially for my younger viewers my younger waterfowl hunters out there out there that are dealing with some of these bullies some of these hard-headed guys that just think that they can rule you and tell you what to do what to hunt what not to hunt yada 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 but thank you for being here guys if you enjoyed this video give your boy a big old thumbs up keep your heads up always keep pounding them birds always keep hunting as much as you can and always do your best to enjoy hunting once i stop enjoy hunting i ain't gonna be doing it any longer i can tell you that right now but thank you all for being here. Subscribe. We will see you on the next one. Peace.